Hey guys, I want you to do me a favor before you leave today, if you haven't already done so, make sure you visit our lunar vault. That's where we keep the moon rock. Now Space Center Houston is one of three places in the entire United States where you're allowed to physically touch a moon rock. We're also one of eight in the entire world. You keep it over in the Starship Gallery, just off to your right here under the large moon rock. And I know I should have said no. history has been made and will continue on as the men and women of NASA push the boundaries of exploration. You are now leaving the museum and entering the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center, the home of human spaceflight and home to the thousands of dedicated men and women who work here. This isn't an exhibit or a theme park, this is the real thing. I'm Gene and the special is that the elite men and women who go into space Right here and right now, the men and women of JSC are the new generation of spacecraft for human spaceflight. It is in the spirit and the history that is the Genesis of space. JSC was built apart. We'll take a closer look at the rockets on the way back. Why do we willingly take the risks and make the economic See how I drive a ray, he can assist you. Now, once we do get up. This is NASA's original mission control. It was opened in 1965 and used until the floor. So that's where it's currently located. 
we're sitting one floor over the actual mission control that's handling our activities in space right now. So this room was retired in 1992, and uh, they replaced all of the original equipment, uh, or put it all back in its original place from the 60s. So everything you see inside is what they were using for the 60s missions uh, back in the day. The room that we're inside of was the VIP viewing room. This room here was for people like families of the astronauts and other astronauts to watch the missions as they were happening. And you would have had all of the U.S. presidents in here, all of the leaders from other countries as well, to watch missions. Inside, you'll see all the technology they're using. It looks like old computers, but these are not. These are just data monitors. So they're basically the screens, like televisions, for the computers they had at the ground floor of the building. So these were connected to a computer downstairs of the ground floor. It's called an IBM mainframe. This computer they had was around the size of the room that we're in. It took almost 10 people to operate. It only had a maximum of two megabytes of memory space. So that's all they were working with on these early missions. And as you know, two megabytes is not that much. It's about the same as four digital pictures. So once you take your fourth photo on your camera or your phone, you just use up all the memory space NASA had in the whole building when they were sending astronauts to the moon. So that's the kind of technology they're working with. You'll see some other things that are unique, like uh, on each one of these desks, there's a rotary dial telephone where you put your finger and dial the number. You'll see, uh, yeah, no touch screens quite yet. And uh, like on this desk here in the middle, you'll see these pneumatic tubes. On the left side, there's a compartment with tubes sitting inside. The tubes that look like this, you see, sitting inside of there. These are pneumatic tubes. Uh, in America, we use these all the time in drive through banks. And uh, this is how you deliver papers from one part of the room to another. So for them, and they didn't have printers to, to print up files if they needed to think Apollo 11 in 1969. That was with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. And uh, Neil and Buzz were the ones who went down to the moon. And as soon as Neil touched down with the spacecraft, he confirmed to this room that he did and said, Houston, Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. And just a few hours later, Neil stepped down the ladder and said his famous words, that's one small step for a man and one giant leap for mankind. And uh, that was a truly historic moment. It's going to be remembered for generations as our first step off of the planet Earth and uh, really just the beginning of 